Hello friends. We're still in the month of October. Well, actually we just kind of started the month of October. And the month of October has a lot of masks involved. Well, we don't want to do masks. We want to drop the act. We don't want it to be about us acting like people who we really aren't or acting like people that maybe we wish we could be. No, we should be acting like the people that God made us to be, made in his image. This month we're talking about integrity, friends. Integrity. And we are defining it like this. Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Whatever you say and do, people should be able to count on you. Count on your word. Know that what you say is true. Um, when I was raising my kids, I had this great book by this wonderful man. And it was all about raising your kids. And it said something that I've never forgotten. It said, say what you mean and do what you say. So I couldn't say to my kids, you're going to be grounded for the next month and a half. Because they knew that wasn't going to happen. That was punishing me, not them. I had to say, you know what, you've made a bad choice. So you have lost your computer privileges for the next week. And then I had to follow through with it. Because that's how they began to see me, as a mom who kept her word. I want you all to be friends who keep their word, who other people can trust, who other people want to be friends with. Because they know you'll always tell them the truth. And what you say is what you're going to do. And what you do is what you say. Make sense? So, our memory verse this month comes from Proverbs 10 at 9. It says, anyone who lives without blame walks safely, but anyone who takes a crooked path will get caught. Yet Solomon, he was a smart guy. When King Solomon wrote these words, he knew what he was talking about. He'd lived it. He'd had kids of his own that had gone way off the path, the straight path that God had outlined for them. And they got caught. And the consequences were horrible. My mom used to tell me, Betsy, if you're going to lie, you better have a really good memory. Because the thing is, guys, if you're telling the truth, it's the truth. You don't have to have this great memory to think, oh, what was the story I made up for them? Oh, what was the story I made up for them? You don't have to do that. Because the truth is always God's best way. So last week, we started out in the book of Daniel. And we talked about being truthful with our whole lives. This week, we're going to head to 1 John 1, 9, where John writes, But God is faithful, and he is fair. If we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins. He will forgive every wrong thing we have ever done. He will make us pure. You don't have to keep secrets from God. God loves you, and he's ready to forgive you. You can't out -sin the cross, my friends. Our bottom line this week is being truthful with God keeps you close to him. While we often think of closeness with God in terms of confession and forgiveness, we can also be truthful with God with our feelings and our questions. God doesn't look down on us because of our doubts and confusion. Especially now, friends, the world tells us so many lies, and they mask it as truth. But it's not. Sadly, it's not. Even our mistakes, we can go to God and say, God, I blew it. I need you to forgive me. I need you to help me hit the restart button. I need you to help me start over again and walk the straight path 
in your love, in your wisdom, with your perfect guidance. God created us, friends, and he loves us, and he wants to hear from us. God is ready to forgive, and we can trust God no matter what. If you've ever had a friend that wasn't truthful with you, it's like all of a sudden this big brick wall is up in between you. You don't ever want a brick wall between you and God. And it's totally torn down when you say, Lord, I need your forgiveness. I need you to help me to do better next time. If I've hurt somebody with my lies, Help me make it right with them. Help me ask for their forgiveness. Help me tell them I'm sorry, and I will try so hard to not do this again. Forgiveness is a gift that you give other people because it's a gift that God gives us through the love of Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross. So we don't ever want to break that closeness with God. So sweet friends, being truthful with God will always keep us close to him. Will you pray with me? Father God, how I thank you and praise you that you are always truthful. And you have modeled that for us through your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, that you taught us that you were the way and the truth and the life. You are the truth because you lived the truth and your truth remains strong and unchanging even in the midst of a changing world and a world that increasingly masquerades the truth with lies. Help us always Lord to everything we hear. Let us look to your word and your guidance to see if it really is true. Lord, we love you so much, and we thank you that you forgive us, and you want to be close to us. You who created the whole universe with just your voice wants to be close to us. What an overwhelming truth, Lord. We love you so much. It's in Jesus' precious name that we all agree and say amen. I love you, sweet friends. I'm eager to see those of you who can come back in person, and I still love being able to at least connect with those of you who can't be. Have a great week.